the commission does. She sure is a beautiful dollar, right? With 100% eyes. Too bad such a doll wastes a lot of time being good. I don't think she'll make any money out of that. Maybe she owns a piece of the mission. Yeah. Hey, Benazel Street. I'm with the horse. How are you? Okay, okay. You know, nicey, nicey Johnson. Yeah, how goes it? Nicely, nicely, thank you. <laughs> Tell me, what about Nick in Detroit? Has he got a place for his crowd game? We don't know yet. The heat is on. He's still trying to find a place. Well, tell him I'm loaded and ready for action. I just acquired 5,000 potatoes. 5,000 dollars? Where did you acquire it? I collected the reward on my father. <laughs> Everybody's looking for action. I show Oh, wow, Lieutenant Brannigan. Mr. South Street is Lieutenant Brannigan of the New York Police Department. A pleasure. Me and you guys see Nathan Detroit? Which Nathan Detroit is that? I mean, the Nathan Detroit who's been running a floating crap game around here and getting away with it by moving it to a different spot every night. Why are you telling us this, Your Honor? I am telling you because I know you two bums work for Detroit, rustling up customers for his crap game. We do? Yeah. Oh. And you can tell it from me. I know that right now he's running around trying to find a spot. Well, nobody's gonna give him a spot because they all know that Brannigan's just breathing down their neck. Fellas, fellas, I'm in real trouble. That lousy Brannigan had a... Something wrong, Mr. Detroit? Oh, uh, hello, Lieutenant. I hope you didn't think I was talking about you. Uh, there are other lousy Brannigans. <laughs> Detroit, I have just been talking to your colleagues about your crap game. I imagine you are having trouble finding a place? Well, the heat is on, as you must know from the fact that you now have to live on your salary. Nathan, did you find a place? What is that cop want from me? What am I, a sex maniac? I merely run the crap game for the convenience of those who want a little action, in return for which I take a small cut. Is that a crime? Yeah! Nathan, did you find a place? Did you find a place for the game? Did I find a place? Did I find a place? Yes, I found a place! We'll hold the crack game tomorrow night at Never Mount Everest! I tried all those regular places. The funeral parlor, the back of the cigar store. Nathan, you said there once might be a chance for the Billmore Garage. I went to the Billmore Garage. I spoke to Joey Billmore himself. He says he might take a chance to let me use this place. If I give him a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? In cash. He won't take my marker. Your marker's no good, huh? What do you mean, my marker's as good as cash? Only Joy Billmore wants cash. It don't seem possible. Me, without a livelihood. Why, I've been running the crap game ever since I was a juvenile delinquent. Nathan, can't you do something? What can I do? I'm so broke I couldn't even buy Adelaide a present today. And you know what today is? Tuesday. It's mine and Adelaide's 14th anniversary. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. We've been engaged for 14 years. <laughs> Nathan, come on the game. The town's up to here with high players. The Greeks in town. Brady Bottle Bates. <laughs> Scranton Slim. I know I can make a fortune, but where can I have the game? The Billboard Garage wants to be but we ain't got a grand on hand. And now they've got a lock on the door of the gym at public school 84. They just don't bring me out of ball. But Mrs. McCluskey ain't a good scout. And things being how they are, the back of the police station's out. So the bill garage is the spot. But the 1,000 bucks we ain't got.
Gentlemen, do not worry. Nathan just tried to cut game will float again. My boys will let you know where it is. Okay, Nathan. Say, you know who else is looking for action? Sky Masterson. Sky Masterson's in town. Sky Masterson. Now there is the highest player of them all. Higher than the Greek? Higher than anybody. Why do you think they call him Sky? Because that's how high he bets. <coughs> I once saw him bet five Gs on a caterpillar race. Another time when he was sick, he wouldn't take penicillin. On account he bet his temperature would go to 104. Did it? Did it? Sky was so lucky it went to 106. <coughs> Good old Sky. Maybe he can lend a thousand off Sky. No, not Sky. With him, that kind of money ain't lending money. It's betting money. So why don't I bet him? Why don't I bet him a thousand on something? You would bet with Sky Masterson? I ain't afraid. Providing I can figure out a bet on which I know I cannot lose. Sky likes crazy bets. Like which lump of sugar will fly land on? Or how far can he kick a piece of cheesecake? Cheesecake? Look, Ben, run into me and ask him how many pieces of cheesecake and how many pieces of strudel he sold yesterday. How many pieces of cheesecake and how many pieces of strudel? What do you want to know that for? Just find out. I look, here comes Ivy. She finds out I'm sitting in the crab game, she'll never set foot on me again. <laughs> Go on, beat it! Adelaide, beat it! Hey, then, darling. Oh, girls, you go ahead. I'll see you later. Okay. We gotta get right back to the hot box in ten minutes. Are you still rehearsing? Oh, yeah. It's that slave driver, Charlie. He's been working us all day. Finally, I say, look, Charlie, I gotta get out of here and get something to eat. You know what he says? You don't want to eat. You just want to go meet that cheap bum, Nathan Detroit. So why did you tell him? I told him. I said I'll meet you wherever I want. Well, don't upset yourself. Oh, uh, how's your cold? Oh, it's much better, thank you. Nathan, happy anniversary. A present for me? I hope you like it. A bell. Read the card. Sugar is sweet and so is jelly, so put this belt around your belly. <laughs> Darling, that's so sweet. Look, honey, about your present. I was going to get you a diamond wristwatch with a gold band and two rubies on the side. Oh, Nathan, you shouldn't have. It's okay, I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I kind of like bringing you get silly presents. It makes me feel like we're married already. Don't worry, honey. One of these days I'm going to be in the money and then you'll have more mink than a mink. But Nathan, I can do without anything just so long as you don't start running the crap game again. The crap game? What an absurd thought. Twelve hundred cheesecake and fifteen hundred strudel. What? Yesterday, Mindy sold twelve hundred cheesecake and fifteen hundred strudel. More strudel than cheesecake. That's great. That's my bet. Nathan, what is this? Nothing, honey. Nothing. Hey, any news yet? <laughs> Not yet, Harry. I'll let you know later. Okay? Okay, Troy. What was that all about? Uh, uh, his wife's having a baby. Why is he asking you? <laughs> <laughs> He's nervous. It's his first wife. <laughs> Look, Adelaide, I know you're hungry, and uh, I'm expecting a fellow, so, uh... Nathan, are you trying to get rid of me? No, no, I just don't want your sandwich to get soggy. <laughs> Fellas, take her along to the drugstore. Oh, Nathan, you're so thoughtful. You're just the sweetest person. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Two wonderful weeks out west in Nevada. Great place. Beautiful scenery, healthy climate. Pretty for 50 G's of blackjack. 50 G's? You gonna be in town long? Nope. Find Savannah tomorrow. Havana? Yeah, there's a lot of action going on down there. Say, why don't you join me? No, no, uh, I got a lot of things to do. Meantime, how about dropping over the minis for a piece of cheesecake? They sell a lot of cheesecake. Nah, no thanks, I'm not hungry. Tell me, how's that look? Oh, fine, fine. Still dancing at the hot box. Suppose one of these days you're gonna get married, huh? Mm. Well, we all got it sometime. Oh, Nathan, we can fight it. Guys like us, Nathan, have got to remember that as pleasant as a doll's company may be, she must always take second place to the aces back to back. Yeah. Tell me, you hungry yet? Couldn't we drop over to Minnie's for a piece of cheesecake or a strudel or something? 
No, I think we're going to get the late results. But you will admit the meat makes the greatest cheesecake in the country. Yeah, I'm quite partial to drink this cheesecake. And who ain't? And yet there are some people who prefer mini strudel. Offhand, which would you say sells more of? Cheesecake or strudel? Well, I've never given it much thought, but I suppose if uh, someone's like him, then they will probably want cheesecake and strudel. You want to bet? Huh? You want to bet? I never knew I never knew you'd be the betting man. You always take your percentage off the top. Well, I thought that for old times' sake, I'd give you a little action. I'll bet you $1,000 that yesterday me sold more strudel than cheesecake. Oh, Nathan, let me tell you a little story. Oh. When I was a young man, about to go into the world, my father says to me a very valuable thing. He says to me like this, you know how he says, he says, Son, I'm so sorry I'm not able to bank all your large stock, but not having any potatoes to give you, I'm now going to stake you some very valuable advice. One of these days, you'll bump into a man, and this man will have with him a brand new deck of cards on which the seal is not yet broken. And he will make a bet with you that he can make the jack of spades jump straight off the top of the pack and squirt cider in your ear. But son, don't bet with this man. For as sure as you and I stand there, you'll end up with an air full of cider. Now, I don't claim you've been caught in any of these cheesesteaks. You don't think that. They'll bet you the same one thousand you do not know the color of the necktie you have on. Well, do we have a bet? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No bet. Red. What a crazy color! Nathan, we took that link to the drugstore. Don't bother me! Hiya, Sky. Hey, how it goes with you fellows? Not bad. Nathan, we took that link to the drugstore. He says, sure to pick her up after the hot box and don't be late. Yes, dear. I mean, uh, yes. Yes, dear. Oh, oh Nathan, you are trapped. And Adelaide, you have found the type of girl who is most difficult to unload. Well, maybe I don't want to unload her. I love Adelaide. Besides, a guy needs a doll. When a guy walks into a restaurant, it looks nice if a doll is there beside him. A doll is a necessity. Hey, I'm not putting a rap on dolls. I just say a guy should have one when he wants one. They're so easy to find. Not dolls like Adelaide. Nathan, wait for age. All dolls are the same. Yeah? Yeah. Then how come you ain't got a doll? How come you're going to Havana, alone, without one? I like to travel light, but if I did wish to take a doll to Havana, there is such a large assortment available. Not real high class dolls. Any doll, you just name her. Any doll? And I name her? Will you bet on that? Yeah. Will you bet $1,000 that I name a doll, you will take her to Havana tomorrow? I name her. Paul Sider. Evil companions who 
You know how they always offer you sucker bets? Here, young man. Thank you. You know, it makes me feel good just to talk to you people. Well, you go right up to her and say to Sarah and you'll be all right. I'm glad you found us. The Bible says, seek and ye shall find. Very good. I wish you could find more sinners like you. You've been out every day trying. Well, why on earth don't you try the night time? How's that? Well, as a former sinner, I happen to know that the best time to find sinners is between midnight and dawn. You see, in the day, they're resting up for more sinning to come. <laughs> oh. Could even try an all-night session against the devil. A very good suggestion indeed. Thank you, Brother Masterson. You're welcome. You know, Kathy is so good, I can't understand why it isn't a sin. Fine old lady, I suppose she's so little exact to you. We look after each other. And if one of you could go someplace, then the other one would go along? Yes, of course. Of course. We are to that pamphlet, which I think you should read. Thanks. Uh, Sister Sarah, I hope you don't think I'm getting out of line. It's just so wonderful to see a beautiful doll, I mean, a nice looking lady like you, sacrificing herself for the sake of others. Being in this job, don't you forget places, travel or something? I would like to go to Ecuador. Well, that's a little too far, but there's some wonderful places just hours from New York by plane. Have you ever been in a plane? No. Oh, it's wonderful. Here is another pamphlet, which I think you should read. <laughs> of course, I'm going to need a lot of personal help, you see. My heart is as black as two feet on the wolf's gullet. We'll be holding a midnight no. prayer meeting on Thursday. No. Which child will you speak me at? I need personal help. Say, why don't we do dinner or something? I think not, Mr. Masterson. Sorry. Just love someone with a warmth of your kindness. Hey, that's wrong. What's wrong? That. It's not Proverbs, it's Isaiah. It's Proverbs. No, sorry, no peace into the wicked. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 21. <coughs> Isaiah. Isaiah. You know, there must be two things being in every hotel room in this country. Sam Masterson and the Gideon Bible. I could have read the good book 10, maybe 12 times. You read the Bible 12 times? Sure. What is wrong with that? Besides, my business often the strangest information comes in handy. I once won a triple bet on Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Masterson, why are you here? I told you, I am a sinner. You're lying. Well, oh, it's a sin, isn't it? Look, I'm a big sinner. Now that you got me, it's a five year old follow. I mean, you do need sinners, don't you? We're managing. Well, let's face it, this mission is laying an egg. Why don't you let me help you? I'll bet I can fill this place with sinners. I don't bet. Okay, I will make you a proposition. When do you say that big union of yours is? Thursday? I will guarantee a dozen genuine sinners, and what's more, will also sit and listen to you. And what's my name the bargain? Have dinner with me. And why do you want to have dinner with me? I'm hungry. Here. What's this? Sky Masterson's market for a dozen genuine sinners. If you don't think it's good, ask anybody in town. <coughs> I'll pick you up at noon tomorrow for dinner. At noon? Sure, it does take some time to get there. To get where? My favorite restaurant. And where is that? A oh, Cafe Cubano, Havana. A oh, Cafe Cubano, Havana? Sure, where do you want to eat? Havana. Well, why not? I guess it's there in five hours and back the same night. And besides, the food is great. I now realize, Mr. Gale, that when you were describing the blackness of your heart, you did not do yourself justice. And I now realize, Sister Sarah, but no matter how beautiful Sergeant may be, she is still a sergeant. Please go away. Well, why don't you change your pitch, Sarge? Come to the mission one and all, except guys. I hate guys. I don't hate anybody. Certainly. Well, it's time to leave to know it's just me in particular, not all guys in general. It's nice to know that somewhere out there there's a guy can appeal to a doll like you. I do wonder what that guy will be like. He will not be a gambler. Oh, I'm not interested in what he won't be. I'm interested in what he will be. Don't worry, I'll know. For
did you say, Nathan? The crap game! Don't say that on the phone. Where the cops are listening? Sorry, sorry. The dice game. Listen, Joey, is it okay if I use your place tomorrow night? If I get a thousand bucks. I'll have it tomorrow. Then call me tomorrow. Look, Joey, if you're gonna take that attitude, I'll have the game someplace else. So? Have it someplace else. Where else could I have it? Look, Joey, the dough is guaranteed. Would I like to? Yes. <laughs> I'm getting it from Sky Masterson. How do you know? It's a bet I know I cannot lose. I bet him he could not take a doll to Havana. Why couldn't he? Well, she ain't the sort of doll that goes to Havana. Where does she go? She don't go no place. That's why I know I'm gonna win. Don't be so sure. It ain't a horse, it's a doll. But Joey... If anything, there'll be no crack in here tomorrow. Unless I get my door at that. Joey, you've known me a long time. Yeah, that's why I want it in Havana. <laughs> Look, Joey, I can't talk no more. I gotta meet Adelaide at the hot box. Just one thing. Is it okay if I tell the fellas it's gonna be at your place? I got a thousand bucks. You'll get it. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope it gets stabbed by a Studebaker. You too. <laughs>
close my crack game, and then they open my veins. Nathan, I hope you're not planning to run the crack game game. Adley, why do you think I gave up the crack game? It's because I love you. And I want us two to be the happiest married couple that there is in the world. Did anyone see an earring around here? I don't think so. You, I'm all day up for tomorrow night with the Saturday match, and he goes and breaks on the count of your dopey crap game. Oh, Miss Adelaide, I pity you. Oh, here it is. Adelaide, look at me. I'm down on my knees. Oh, get up. It reminds me of your crap game. <laughs> look, Adelaide. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. We love each other and we're gonna get married. I don't believe you anymore. But it's true. Look, you'll feel better in, in the morning, you'll see. Let's see that old smile. <laughs> That's my happy girl. See you tomorrow.
should have seen the look she gave him. He would have cooled off a moose and made him time. Good, just as long as you don't take the dog to Havana. Havana? This guy couldn't take the dam across the street. Where's Nathan? You think he'll end up the game? I don't know. I suppose trying to see Adelaide. She's mad at him again. That Miss Adelaide. Always taking his mind off on his work. Yeah, it's too bad the smart businessman like Nathan has to go and fall in love with his own fiancé. Benny, that is his weakness. And we should be tolerant. For I am told it is a worldwide weakness. Look. What's playing the Roxy? I'll tell you what's playing the Roxy. Story about a Minnesota man so in love with a Mississippi girl that he sacrifices everything that moves all the way to Biloxi. That's what's playing the Roxy. What's in the Daily News? I'll tell you what's in the Daily News. Story about a guy for his wife's small movie which would otherwise be his Union Jews. That's what's in the Daily News. What's happening all over? I'll tell you what's happening all over. Guy sitting going by the television said it once used to be something that were over. That's what's happening all over. Love is a thing that has licked him. And it looks like Nathan's just another victim. Yes, sir. When you see a guy.
We at headquarters have come to a definite conclusion. We decided to close this branch of the mission. Oh no! Close the mission? The general. Someone can do it with me. Even if I can. Sarah, there are so many calls on us, so many places where our work is really needed. But we're doing so much better now. Yes, we announced a big meeting for tomorrow night. You announced the meeting? But will anyone be here? Will anyone come? Pardon me, I couldn't help overhearing. General, my name is Sky Matheson, former sinner. How do you do? How do you do? I wish to protest against the closing of this mission. I believe Sister Sarah can do a great job. I'm glad to hear you say that, but I'm not so certain. The doll will get your time. What? <laughs> General, might I make a suggestion? Yes. Why don't you come to the meeting tomorrow night and find out for yourself? Well, if I thought the mission had a chance. General, I personally guarantee you one dozen genuine sinners. Hallelujah! Stop sewing! I left nice enough my hotel room to wait for the money from the sky. Hey, 